Hello, YouTube audience. Once again, I am Brother of Havoc, and we are doing another episode of Besiege. As I'm sure you remember this beauty right here in front of you, which had absolutely no problems. Uh, <laughs> this, is my, this is my catapult trebuchet thing, and we are trying to take down this tower, or at the very least, 80% of it. Uh, we have been, as, as many would say, unsuccessful so far. Uh, and I hope that this video will do something a bit different. Uh, I hope to, uh, I hope to be successful. Let's just, let's just leave it at that. Um, we're gonna add some of these ballasts again. I have no idea if these are going to be of any help. I believe they will, but, uh, we're gonna try to even this out, because apparently these things have weird physics when you couple too many of them together. But not a problem, not a problem, not a problem. All right, so attempts number 62. Whoosh! I think that was worse. That was actually worse than, uh, oh, come on. That was worse than just the wood and the stones. Are the stones that heavy? The stones are the stones must be really heavy in order to be able to uh, launch this thing as much as it does. So, what's the solution? Well, the answer is obvious: more stones, more stones, and more weight. Of course, these are awkward things. However, I am confident that this will work. Oh, okay. Well, there was a slight problem there. The front hit the ground. So, quick, quick adjustment. And we're getting closer. We are indeed getting closer. Um. Hmm. Uh, oh, great. My, my, work, my master work is falling to pieces. Uh, um, I got nothing. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I have absolutely nothing. Uh, I can make this wider, potentially. I mean, would, would that be would that be useful? I think it'd be useful. Let's, let's try it. Let's try it. Why not? We're going to do something stupid, and we're going to extend this machine. Well, I'm sure it's not that stupid. And if this turns out to actually work, it was my genius plan from the start. I had absolutely... Oh, crap. I had absolutely no... No... Issues with believing that this would actually work. Man, it's becoming an issue, adding blocks. All right, we're gonna we're gonna add some braces here, actually. Why? Because these things wobbled around like it was uh, someone at a drunk Christmas party. I'm gonna do the same for these as well. Like, why? Why do the same for these? Well, because. Besides, it also might add some weight. Or it could just really add some extra work for me when I need to delete this thing later on and this thing fails. But we're going to keep this, we're going to keep an open mind. We're going to hope and believe that this will work. And we are going to see what happens. Come on. You can do it. That's a lot of weight. You can launch this thing. Come on. It collapsed on its own freaking weight. I should have seen that coming a mile away. And I don't think that whatever it is I'm doing right now is going to have any real effect. 
This may be something I scrap for a later project, which would be disappointing, but completely understandable. Man, why, why why can't this thing work though? It's just it's a stupid catapult. You add weight on one side, you add the thing you want to launch on the other side. I mean, if it's a person or whatever or a shish kebab, you know, it's not it's not a uh, it shouldn't be a difficult idea. Okay, let's see if it does anything. Well, I can take out those archers no problem, but we have to scrap this idea. We have to really destroy this machine. Okay, so my next idea one would call stupid, and uh, I think probably on that note I'm actually going to stop recording this now. Uh, you might be mad at me for that, but I'm sure you'd understand that there is such a thing as uh, uh, you know what? I have no idea where I'm going with this. So, but let me just let me just say that this is going to be stupid, and give you a little bit of a hint of what I intend on doing here. So, I'm going to have this as the baseline, and then I am going to add some wheels. That is pretty much what I intend to do. Can I move this thing actually a little bit? Yeah, I want to move this thing. Yeah, yeah, forward. That's, that pretty much sums up what it is I'm trying to do, actually. I guess we'll, go, we'll keep the video going a little bit longer. You forced me to. I mean, don't worry about it, people. I know how much you enjoy my awesome, awesome videos. Man, this thing is going to be super sweet. It's going to work, too. Not like that stupid catapult trebuchet thing that I was trying to do. I mean, honestly, that should have worked. I, I don't... I don't get why it didn't. It's just... It's very confusing. Man, this thing is going to be so epic. Oh. Thing is gonna rock the house. Your house. Your house. You are going down. You are going down, my friend. Down. I hope this thing actually has enough power. <laughs> um. Yeah. Oh boy, I'm excited, I'm excited. I believe this is gonna work, people. I really do, I, I have I have a strong, strong feeling in my gut. It's, it's like, it's like the force is telling me that this will work and this is what I should have been using the entire time. The entire time. Yes. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Wait, so what is it? This one? Is it this one? Yes. All right, so just need to do that. Why use an unpowered wheel? I'm sure I'm missing something, some key idea behind the unpowered wheel, but why even use it? You know what I mean? Why, not, why use it? It doesn't make any sense. All right. Okay, well, I, I definitely have to take a break now. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the show and this little tease video of what my next machine's gonna be like. 
I'm sure you've got a basic idea by now of what this is going to do, but I hope you enjoyed the show, and as always, have a nice night and pleasant dreams.